Right lads, welcome to Mexico in the year 1444 where the Aztecs are about to become dominant. Now, how does this work? Well, we have this thing called the Doom mechanic for those of you who don't know. Basically, if Doom gets up to 100, our nation collapses. We get Doom going downwards by, that's not how English works, but still, we win battles, occupy province and sacrificing the rulers and heirs and, and that sort of stuff of other people. Uh, so it's incredibly violent. So why would you do that? Well, each time that you get up to five vassals, you can then select a reform. There are these five reforms. After that, once you're bordering a European nation or someone with an, an institution, because we don't even have feudalism, then you get to reform your religion. So this includes uh, monthly war exhaustion, diplomatic relations, discipline, colonists, and also stability cost. Now, there's lots of uh, funky things you can do as the Aztecs. You can flip to uh, animist, for example, uh, take this land and then just get rid of the Doom mechanic and then flip back to Nahuatl. I personally don't think I'm going to do that today. I might do, but I like to sort of fully embrace the uh, Nahuatl identity. Uh, and as part of that, we're not going to be flipping to other weaker uh, effeminate religions. They're not effeminate. <laughs> I was reading a manuscript today um, of like a historical document that described the religion, another religion as effeminate, and I found it really funny. Uh, but I've now realized that that could be construed very poorly in the modern day. So yeah, playing as the Aztecs is all about trying to balance conquering places so you're strong, as well as making sure your doom stays low. We also start with two lovely little gold provinces and also a monument that gives us goods produced modifier plus 33% on a gold mine. Speaking of gold mine, this video is sponsored by Outplayed. I'm going to use the sponsorship money to buy an outfit for my husky for Halloween. Whenever someone doesn't believe me on Discord that I've pulled off something incredible, I turn to Outplayed. Without Played, I can automatically pick which game I want to record and with what settings. I can even edit clips on the fly and pick exactly what I want recorded on a game by game basis. I can then share it with a click of a button. Recently, I've been using it a lot to show off my incredible plays in Warzone that people would discredit immediately if they didn't have proof. Click the link in the description to download it for free. Thanks again to Outplayed for sponsoring this video. We'll also start with Montezuma, who has uh, three Fire and four shock, pretty insane in general. And we get the Flower Wars Cassis Belli, which gives us uh, 200 prestige on conquering everything, pretty much. Can we actually put a much anywhere else? I don't think we can. I'll take out a bunch of loans right at the start so we can grab ourselves the free company and get this show on the road. So you can ally on mixed tech. Okay, immediately gain two base tax. I will take that as a first event. Build the force limit. Do I want to take the morale of armies now? Well, eh, why not? Let's just do it. It's kind of a bare bones tree, huh? It's been a while since Parallax looked over to the uh, to the Mexican subcontinent to make any changes. Alright, does anyone have no allies? Because I don't really fancy... Oh, Jesus Christ, you took a couple of allies, didn't you? Where's Mixtech? Down there, okay. It's actually been some years since I played in this region. Alright, Flower Wars, call a Mixtech. Let's go. Okay, this should be easy enough. It's just the manpower really we've got to worry about. Uh, gain 5 legitimacy because I don't have any Doom yet. I think the idea is once we win a battle, we'd go and sacrifice them. Oh no. For those of you who don't know anything about Mesoamerican history, honestly, it's it's one of the most fascinating periods of time. Um, just for the fact that we don't know an awful lot about so many different things. I know that was a good stack wipe. I also know that now I'm trapped. Yeah, I'm not letting the Great Pyramid decline, so... Uh, damn it, there was a 20% chance of that. Ugh, and my troops are stuck. Can I have access, please? Give me access. Someone give me access, thank you. Ooh, the contributions have resulted in an impressive addition. Lovely. Plus one yearly prestige until the end of the game. That's so powerful. I'll take that. And did it just upgrade it? It upgraded it to level three. That's even more goods produced. Wonderful. And we've got a yearly doom reduction of three per year. That's great. That means we can take a lot more provinces. Okay, so Mixtech was declared on by someone else. Who? That one. I wonder if I'll get kicked out here. So obviously I'm going to go here and super piece and get myself my first vassal, which will pull me into the war. I'm just curious to see if I will get black flagged. I don't. Wonderful. Oh God, such a cool unit model. So these uh, troops used to use uh, obsidian glass um, based weapons, which might seem a little bit primitive, um, but that's just because that's quite a Eurocentric view. Uh, they were incredibly deadly and apparently, uh, I don't know how true this is, but apparently they could take the head off of a horse. I will say that I didn't study this uh, this this period of history uh, academically, so I could be wrong on a number of things. If I am, please do correct me in the comments below. If you want to add something to the, the discussion, please do, because I really do uh, enjoy reading about the sort of obscure historical facts we all we all know and love. 
For instance, common misconception that the Spanish sort of turned up and just conquered Mexico because they had guns and, and superior technology. Um, it was actually because a lot of people were upset with the uh, Aztec uh, rule and sort of the dominant hierarchy and they used, um, they sort of introduced themselves as a part of the geopolitical game in Mexico. Meaning that people were more likely to side against them and didn't really sort of bandwagon uh, or balance against them. And it's sort of a pretty standard uh, conception that like European powers would just turn up and like dominate whatever sphere and then, oh, if only the natives knew what threat. No, they just didn't, it just didn't work like that at that point. They're just a new geopolitical power. Why would they suddenly be opposed to another power coming in? All right, but we are also going to get ourselves divination and we can check on our doom. Now our doom goes up uh, by plus eight, but because of our monument, it actually only goes up by plus five every year. So we can sacrifice people and such, but it just means that what I like to do, or I did like to do a few years back, is take a couple of provinces, reduce these guys to one province miners, and I now have three vassals. So another war should do it, but then you start to get to the point where people have a lot of alliances. Oh, this guy did not. For those of you perhaps are a bit new to EU4, I won't reveal what happens when I reform a religion. We'll leave that as a little surprise. Which one's Klapanek again? Okay, it's down here. Is that you? Oh, you new ally. Now I'm fighting 20,000. What about you? Okay, yeah, let's fight, let's fight you. Oh, great, he's got a fort. Forts are the worst in this region because no one has any sort of cannons and no ability to get cannons for uh, quite some time. Okay, you have 8,000 troops in Tarascan. That's fine. I can't actually get to him. Where are you going, bud? Yeah, go murder my, my disloyal vassals. Oh no, whatever will I do? Oh no, that's horrible. Someone, no, please stop. Ah. See, sometimes Montezuma dies and that crashes the game. Uh, it's, a, it's a really weird glitch that <laughs> should probably be patched by now. Like I said, Paradox don't care about Mexico. No. <laughs> I can't blame that Paradox. He's only 27. What's he dying for? Ooh, the Sumptuary Laws. Okay, so... Oh no, we lose 100 admin power, but we get until the end of the game plus 2.5% discipline. I'm not even sure if Aztec ideas. So Aztec ideas, we start off with 10% um, infantry combat ability, which is really, really useful. From there, cost of reducing war resolution, not great. Yeah, legitimacy plus one, situational. Recovery speed, I'm always a fan of that. Morale advice plus 10% is decent. Tax modifier, okay. Production efficiency, I like. And spinal construction, kind of bad. But the national manpower modifier plus 25%, especially in uh, uh, a period of time or a patch where manpower has been a little bit nerfed it's pretty solid but then you also get all of these bonuses like five percent discipline you don't lose that you 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 keep that it's great <laughs> it's like your little reward for surviving oh and in case you're wondering here's the subject interaction if i go here i can sacrifice ruler it reduced reduces the liberty to of all of our vassals by 25 percent uh but it does reduce our doom 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 it's quite useful all right there's that done Tarascan is in another war so i would like to just occupy all those provinces and then we go murder him. Oh, Jesus. Okay. All right, buddy. That's unfortunate for me. I did not realize you had another couple of thousand troops. It's good for you. Lost a thousand men at a time in which manpower is rather useful. Okay, get you to take over the siege and then we'll leave. Now, we can't damage Sharascan, unfortunately. Uh, but we will make them a vassal. Kind of want as many borders as possible. So immediately after this, I am going to... And I'm not, I'm not trying to do this like super meta or anything else like that. But I'm going to... Uh, presumably declare war on you to get these three. Oh god, what's this? Oh no. Year of one rabbit. The famine. God damn it. We only had one rabbit to feed, feed the entirety of Mexico. God. Alright, let's take you as a vassal. And uh, then let's check the area map mode. Yep, we want to do that. And then take you as a vassal, take your money, grab some extra prestige from you. There we go. Boom. Now we need our stability to be at least one. Do that now. And we can reform our religion to the point where we get this. So we advance our doom by 25, releases all our subjects and lowers our stability by one. Uh, so, ouch. But that's fine. Because we have one reform, that lowers our yearly doom by plus two. So our number from provinces is not horrible. So everyone else legs it, uh, which is rather unfortunate for us, but that's fine. Now, do I just keep pushing? I think so. I wouldn't really be too cautious of a coalition. Uh, to be honest, it's not too much of an issue. At this point, you should already be dominant. Like, I'm pretty sure with the tech advantage I've got... Okay, I don't want to... Like, I shouldn't chat because apparently the game can hear me and will punish me. But I was going to say, with the tech advantage that we've got and should maintain for a little while because our leader is a 4-3-5 and we focus mill and we also have enough gold to afford advisors, we should 
be able to take on the rest of everyone all at the same time. The Mayans have something a little bit different. Now, the reason I'm just sort of standing here is because Tlapanek and uh, Totenak do have a combined uh, army of 15,000. Then there it is. All right, nice. Beginning of a new cycle. The year of one rabbit is behind us. Lovely. For thus it has ended, thus sickness and famine have left us. That gives us stability, lose some doom, get some national unrest, some stability cost modifier. Brilliant. I have no evidence to back this up, but I would say, just anecdotally and how I feel about it, that the Aztecs probably have the best events in the game. And see what I mean? We just You just get loads of stuff that reduce your doom. Doom isn't, it's not that punishing of a mechanic at all. You really should never be going above like 50 doom, to be honest. So the more doom you have, you get less aggressive expansion. So that's why I'm, I'm very willing to like, stack it as high as possible early game because look that's a minus what 30 percent aggressive expansion impact perfect and we love these defensive wars where people declare war on mixed tech where's mixed tech Wait, what oh this is mixed tech who's mixed tech oh this is mixed tech all right and you just sort of wait for the ai to split up really it's always a solid choice i don't really fancy losing a siege race to the ai so let's just chuck a thousand units there a thousand units a thousand men all right grab the rest of you and march up north and apparently finish off those guys along the way as was my plan. Where are you retreating to? Oh, what? Oh, you took people as a vassal. Okay, sure. Yeah, see, again, I'm actively avoiding decreasing my doom. I want my doom as high as possible right now without going completely unstable. So who's vassal? You're this vassal. So if I were to fully annex you, I'd get two more vassals. That's one, two, three. Annex you. I think that's a better play. And then that spikes our doom. We're at the point now we're going to start getting a coalition. And the advantage to this as well is that we can take vassals here that well, I didn't actually anticipate on getting because you can obviously usually only get the ones around you. Okay, you're a vassal of who? Tanola. Yeah, we have to bust through a, an alliance of some variety. Ooh, we're fighting Itza. Which means, is it for conquest? Subjugation of Mixtech. So an ally. Oh, this could be brilliant. Because that'll be one, two, three. Our oh, errors of Craven. Brilliant. <sighs> Evil gives with one hand and takes with the other. Okay, sweet. You will take the annexation, meaning that we should take these guys as vassals. We do. And now we take you as a vassal and take these two provinces. Okay, like I said, our doom will start to go up quite rapidly. Ten a year. We just need to make sure we're ahead of that. Because bear in mind, when we do the reform, uh, it will then increase our doom as well. So one, two, three. This will be number four once the siege is done. Do okay for manpower. And we need someone else. You don't have any other allies. Kish, Kish is down here. We did that a bit prematurely. Not gonna get the stack wipe. Where are you going? You can't retreat into my vassal's territory. I'm a wood zap attack. Okay, so that's gone rather poorly. So I pull out of that one. Fortunately, all these guys are likely going to be <laughs> disloyal. But apparently, my Kish is determined that my vassals die. That's fine. Yeah, the only bad thing about this situation is that I'm now at war with a couple of different people. Yeah, he's calling it so he's gonna start calling in his own ally to it's a uh, just not been calling my provinces apparently honestly i think i'm happy for those uh my vassals places to fall i threatened a little bit he should leave yeah kalima is actually loyal mainly because he doesn't have an army anymore yeah we are gonna have to go after quiche unfortunately <laughs> that's another thing like lose government reform i can't actually have any government reform so it doesn't exactly matter uh yeah we'll get you to peace out and we have 94 percent against this Donny, which means he should, in theory, become our vassal. No. Go okay, on, minus one. One, there we go. Huh. It said he would do it. Okay, what about now? I've recently sent a diplomat. All right, 9th of June. There we go. Yeah, it's unfortunate because now I'm at war with this lot. And I have truces with all of this lot. So I kind of wanted to expand into them. All right, he'll give me that one vassal. I actually don't want to be tearing vassals from other people. That's why I'm not attacking this guy. Because he can join a coalition against me. Fine. But this guy won't. If they're both independent and they join a coalition, they'll both want to fight me. Whereas if this guy joins a coalition and he's got this guy as a disloyal vassal, the disloyal vassal will just sit in his lands. He won't, he won't want any uh, piece of it. So people having vassals, pretty good for me. That's why I'm like upset I have to tear this from him. Okay, now we just need our stability to be up a little bit. And we get another tech. Everyone else should be on round like tech one, maybe tech two. Yeah, everyone else is tech one, see? So we're a bit far ahead. Uh, now let's go and... Get ourselves some stability. I'm gonna get the stability cost modifier. All our boys leave. And now our doom starts hitting rather absurd heights. We do get a minus 67% gross expansion uh, impact. Okay, it's so one of the few times I'll actually use the truce map mode this. 
Because usually I despise it. it. Does look like it's only this guy. That so should be one, two, three in here. Okay, but realistically, it's Tonala, whoever this guy is. Let's go after him. And this guy. So I, I actually have to fight. The rest of them will just sit there. Uh, let's go murder him whilst we have the shot. Okay. Two sets of Tlapnik Separatists. Interesting. All right, I'm facing off against uh, a much larger army than my... Ooh, hoo, 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 that's bad. Right, I'm going to cheat this time. We're going to take it on the chin. This kind of sucks. Because <laughs> that's our good general. We now have minus 5% morale. And a distinct lack of troops to be able to deal with all this. The concern is this rebellion. 403 is an air. I'll take that. Let's see, would they rush me down? I think they might. Okay, interesting. Earthquake. So we get minus 10 doom on everything, but we get plus 5% discipline for the next like five years. We lose our manpower, which kind of sucks, but it's fine. Yeah, we'll take the discipline plus 5% of plus five at this point. Yeah, know how they're not pushing in. <laughs> because our stats are frankly silly. We've got 170. It's it's. <laughs> It's 1458, we have 117% discipline. Um, I kind of want to get the administrative bonuses and another stability. See, three good events all in one row. It's it's easily, I think, the Aztecs have the best uh, events in the game. Most favorable, should we say. Okay, I do need to deal with these rebels, so let's do that now. And our heir's dead. Oh no, our king died. <laughs> I don't, there's a lot going on right now. Were they kings? Uh, obviously they were kings, but like, they were called something. I can't remember what they were called. There's one vassal. Oh, he doesn't quite want to get vassalized yet. Honestly, I'm down to wait. So my doom's going to be ticking up. That's fine. We're now at the point where I kind of want to keep an eye on my doom. When you hit 50, that's kind of when you want to start thinking about it. This is what happens when you gamble on that event. Because the worst thing for us is fighting our own rebels. Because everyone else is just stupid easy to fight. Man, do you have left some. The funny thing is, I can just sit here and let them tick up uh, their siege progress because it's not going to matter. Okay, stability, lose five doom. Thank you very much, game. Do appreciate it. That was a ridiculously quick siege. What the hell was that? Yeah, 14%. Thanks for playing, buddy. Oh, I can't take the other one as a vassal. I can take two of them, which takes us up to four, which means I only need to fight one more. Just another stability. Thanks. By the way, once you get all the reforms, uh, you don't have to worry about doom anymore. <laughs> yeah, four vassals. Who didn't I get? I wasn't allowed to take that guy. Guam Guamares. What's this? High income. Thank you. This game. Now, the first guy we fought is Truce should be up. Yep. And he's a one province miner with no outside help. So we should be able to just destroy him. Some people really don't like the uh, the Aztec star. I do because it feels like a puzzle that has to be solved. Like really quite methodically. Um, it doesn't feel very min-maxi. Uh, you can obviously go that way if you want. I will say, however, that I don't like how many good events there are, which seems strange for me to say. I know, but it's, it's quite a lot. Yeah, unfortunately, I am in a situation where I'm surrounded by truces. Uh, they shouldn't last too long. 68, five years. Mm, that'll kill me. <laughs> there we go, that's what I'm looking for. There's the truth with Zapotec and a few others. Yeah, no, somehow I don't think I'll be allying you, Kalima. I appreciate the offer, though. All right, let's see what the situation is here. Uh, Mixtech is a vassal of Zapotec. Totanak, I have a truce with for the next two years, so it is just Zapotec. So we'll go through Mixtech first. We can take Tarascan through that and also Itza. Sounds good to me. Let's go for Tarascan first. Yeah, because of our much superior tech, we're about to get tech 4 actually. We're about to get tech 4 and 65. That's really good considering the sheer amount of people in Europe that don't have tech 4 by, by 65. Like, that's not bad. You want to see, see how much that matters? Here you go. Watch, watch how much the difference in two technology. These early techs matter. Here you go. We have double their morale. I could fight the entire- I could fight European armies, like, reliably like this. Not even- not just reliably, with our, like, 117% or 112% now discipline. Like, we have some of the very best troops in the world. Oh man, my favorite air, Root Air Get Name. <laughs> I love Root Air Get Name. <laughs> Alright, take a mixed tech, let's push on to Zapotec. Just gonna build a bunch of cogs, because then I can blockade. Four on each side should do it. Can I have an Admiral? That'd be really funny. Hmm, I'm actually tempted to flip to- Totemist after I finished this whole doom thing. So that can show sort of, the, oh, that's a good idea because that can show the best of both worlds. Okay, here's how this works and also this. Can I have an admiral? Oh man, look at this guy. What a legend. Okay, we have to be a little bit cautious of our doom here. There's a couple of truces there as well. I mean, what do we have left to do? Two, I think. Yeah, two. All right, another one of these plus 5% discipline ones. The man has unconditionaled, but that doesn't mean anything to us. Geneva Convention has not been invented yet. And let's get our doom down a little bit by slaughtering this army. And you can see it went down by seven, because we killed 7,000 men, I think. All right, how many vassals do I have? None. <laughs> All right, let's take you as a vassal. I'm now starting to accrue some aggressive expansion with the Mayans. 
might get a little bit upset about that. All right, let's take this stuff and also vassalize you. Almost forgot to vassalize you. That's two more vassals, I think. Yeah, two more vassals. I'll take, in fact, should we do something a little bit, I think, like that. Take the two vassals as well. It's a risky game, but it's one that I'm willing to play. Because now our doom will go up. Number of own provinces plus 25. All right, but that gives us access to regions that we have not yet been able to conquer. The only issue is we have four. So we only need one more. So it's, it's a bit of a waste if I fight someone who has a bunch of allies. But, oh, wow, okay, you have a lot of vassal. Mm. I'll reset the truce time with all of them. And I can nick them off you. So I don't really want to fight Kalima. What about you? Perfect. Totally, like I don't have a, va a, a thing with. What about, do I like this guy? I don't have one with you either. You don't have any allies, so let's just go in and after you. Oh, right. You've, you seem to have each other's capitals. Does that mean it's a stalemate? <laughs> okay, I'm just going to fight both of them. <laughs> can I reform whilst at war? Oh, this is the last one. Uh, you have to be at peace. Okay. Well, that's fine. Let's just murder him. All right, let's play a game over which siege is going to go first. <laughs> it was that one. <laughs> Nice. All right, let's take you as a vassal. It means I'm just gonna annex the rest of this stuff. Oh, uh, I didn't wait, did I? Cool. Good job, Lath. I'll just wipe peace then. Okay. Doom has to be less than 50. Ooh, forgot about that requirement. Ooh, do I have any rebels that rise up? Oh no. Come on, Doom's gonna be going up constantly. Uh, here's what I can do to get rid of my Doom. Do 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 do. do. It's just uh. Here we go. Lose five Doom. Oh, I've got like 50 points something. All right, I gotta wait for an event. I mean, or I could just... Okay, here's what I'm going to do instead. I'm going to murder these troops. Well, there's the doom. <laughs> I'd wait like five more minutes. Murder these troops, uh, and then I'm just going to take their provinces. So who are you allied to? You, you, and you. Okay, cool. That works. No no forts, right? I should have gotten rid of all the forts in the first one. Does winning wars count? I think it... Is, is it winning wars? No. Occupying provinces counts. Okay. There's one. Okay, I've got to do this all at the same time. And I've got to be careful that it doesn't happen. Come on. There we go. Okay. So, there's one. You won't do it? Why? Because oh, you have bloody friends, don't you? Little friends, you weirdo. All right. Uh, you know what? Screw it. Let's not let's not mess around trying to be trying to be smart here. Let's just get this going. Now I want to fight this guy. Where is he? Because he has all of the friends in the world. When's the truce up? It's only four. Yeah. Okay. We'll wait for that. Gives me a chance to get some more manpower back, and we're gonna get native repression. <laughs> Makes sense. Oh, we could get a uh, age bonus. Uh, aggressive expansion is kind of useless for us right now. We'll go war taxes. Oh, why don't I get improved colonies? That's so stupid, Lath. I can make sure I accumulate an ally as well. Oh, that doom is going up at two every year because of our reforms. We should be fine. Do you want to keep buffing Mexico? There we go. Might be the last reform all in one war. Let's have a look. Okay, 1,000 men are beating 7,000. Miltech! <laughs> and we're killing men. As per usual, standard Aztec day out. Most peaceful Aztec man right there. Ooh, another layer. Yeah, let's do that. We have money. I think one is a vassal. Why? Okay, well, let me occupy the, the, the capitals first. Maybe that'll change. Uh, otherwise, I'll just annex him directly. Which, to be honest, is probably a better play. Miltech five, boys! <laughs> nice. Uh, we'll take one tech. Why not? Feudal monarchy. We've discovered what that is. It's so nice to be able to pause, man. Well, <laughs> after, after the video where I played an entire game of EU4 from 1444 to 1821 without pausing. Well, trying to pause as little as possible in one sitting. Uh, go check out that video if you haven't already. Uh, being able to pause is is lovely and knowing that there's an end date in mind, <laughs> that's nice that I could just, you know, chill. Okay, let me look here. So you have one, two, three, four. So if I just basically do this and then vassalize you and then I will annex. Where is Tanola? I've never actually checked. By the way, again, Oh, because the escape key is next to the tilde key, right? So when I hit escape sometimes, it brings up the console command, the menu. And people are like, oh, well, clearly you're cheating. I can't cheat if it's Iron Man mode. So this, I can gain 50 government refor reform progress, but I, I can't. Okay, this is Tanala, right? Okay. Can't take the last province I'm in the subject at the same time. That's three. Can't take the last one, really? Oh, that's so frustrating. 641 is an L, take that. Ah, we can. One, two, three, four, five which means we'll have six in total. So I don't need six. West tech, which one's West tech? So now I have one, two, three, four, and I've got Kalima. So we should be able to now, oh, do must be underneath 50, right? All right, let's sacrifice someone. Sacrifice ruler, that's gonna give us 12 doom reduction. Lovely, excellent. So we've got the final one, 
which means we have all of them, which now Doom does not increase at all. It's constantly on the down low, which is wonderful. So I am now going to go a bit mental and conquer the rest of these provinces. Key thing here is I need to actually get claims on everyone. Because Flower Wars means that I can't take, I can't just fully annex them, unfortunately. So now we hit the final stage of our Doom stuff, which is reforming our religion, but we need uh, basically the Europeans to turn up, and they'll turn up in maybe about 30 years. There is a bit of a shortcut I can do. All right, first things first, let's just take out all of you. So at the end of the game, we get monthly autonomy changed minus 0.03. Wonderful. It's another war over here. 9,000 versus 6,000, doesn't matter. And then they'll just chill up there. Right, I need to focus admin power now, because we're going to need a lot of it. So many separatists just turned up and died. It's nice to see. The density of force in this uh, in this region is actually kind of nice. Uh, once you conquer them, of course. When you're not conquering them, when you when you're the one that has to conquer them, it's, it's yeah, it's horrible. <laughs> All right, thanks for playing, buddy. But I think you've uh, you've got to go. <laughs> Apparently, into the north. Bye, lads. <laughs> I wish you well. You're not gonna have a nation to come back to. Well, that's convenient. Just shuffling around all my spy networks to make sure we're constantly getting claims on people. Oh, he's come back. Hello. Let me just uh, inter interrupt you here. Sorry, mate. Just got a nip in. Thank you. Oh, the free company who served us so faithfully this entire time are finally running out of manpower. They'll do one last service. Good job, boys. Now you can rest. So yeah, like I said, we get these reforms until the end of the game. So that's an extra colonist, um, which we can you, know, you obviously use to colonize. That's some discipline. The stability cost modifier, pretty good things. Uh, but we are hindered insofar as we can't embrace any institutions. We don't know what feudalism is. Now, usually you develop feudalism, right? But we can't do that because we are a basically a primitive nation. I'm pretty sure if we flip to animist, we should be able to reset that. Fortunately for us, we have some animist provinces up here. I should actually have some animist rebels. <gasps> Well, 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 if it isn't the uh, the Castilians turning up. I always get so interested to see what Europe looks like in these sorts of uh, games. To be honest, I don't really see the point in developing feudalism if, they, if the uh, Europeans have turned up as early as this. I want to keep my bonuses. Deck on you. Oh, I meant to call you in as an... Oh, well. Whatever, that's fine. I hate how they can just retreat into... Like, through my entire territory, into... Uh, unknown territory. It's just, it's such a weird feature of E4 that, like, the the pathing determines, yes, there. I, like, it makes sense from a mechanical point of view. It's a neutral province that they have access to because it's not blocked by force. So it, it makes sense, don't get me wrong. But it just, it, like, in real terms, if that makes sense. Like, I don't know how to put this. Realism-wise. Alright, I want to try something. I've moved into a new house. Uh, I live by myself now. And I have one of these desks that do this. So I want to try, oh god, I'm, I'm sinking. Uh, I want to try like recording standing up and see how that feels. I'll, I'll be up in a moment. Be there soon. All right, so now we can game standing up. The only issue is my lights are like partially obscured, so the green screen might be a little bit weird. Uh, I'll only find that out like when you're watching this now. So we're going to see how this goes. <laughs> I tactfully uh, attempted this. Uh, halfway through ish the video uh, so that I have some retention secured and you're already emotionally invested in the video so you won't click off just because some bad green screen or the green screen's fine and I'm making a fuss over nothing it just gives me a chance to like stretch my legs a little bit because I spend a lot of time sitting down making these videos okay so apparently we tried to get Castile to broker a piece for us and they did uh, cheers lads appreciate that all right that's one piece done let's get what I can't what excellent and I think Klaxicala was next. Ooh, gotta make sure I get these claims in before my spy network diminishes too much. I don't know who Chichimecha are, but they're gonna die soon. A truce with you? No. Do I have any claims on you? Yes. That is a combination of words I love to see. I say we have a little bit of fun. Uh, let's cancel military access here. We have very little manpower. We get the free company. Slack in a bunch. Grab ourselves the free company. And I say... We go to war with everyone. Everyone that we physically can. Okay, that puts us at war with... Yep, it, it is literally everyone in the East. Okay, cool. Alright, how are we going to do this? I reckon we go after the people without a fort, which apparently is no one. They're all just frozen. <laughs> I want this to be kind of climactic. I literally stood up for this. That's how dominant our ideas and such are. They just, they just, they just do not think for a second they'll win. Well, I suppose it means I can be a bit methodical in how I approach this. It also means I should probably save up my admin and not take this. Ah. Uh, Gonna 
Oh god. I'm gonna gamble. I'm gonna gamble again. Got that event twice in like two days. Okay, it didn't go well. It went really poorly. I lost on all counts. I've genuinely, and I remember this so clearly from uh, from my time actually playing with uh, with Will, who was uh, who was on the banner. Uh, a lot of you want to know who he is. That's that's who he is. Uh, I remember getting super frustrated that every single time I tried uh, to gamble on that, it would always fail. So I'm convinced that it's a guaranteed failure no matter what happens. Let's see if they join in that battle. They do not. It's an instant stack wipe. What's your tech over here? Ah, tech three versus tech six. Ooh, this might not go well. If I was a lesser commander of my men, fortunately for everyone involved, I am not a lesser commander of men. Almost, almost, almost did it. I gotta, gotta save up the admin for cause, like. God, I can't tell you how much standing up is so much easier on my back. I think I gotta make this somewhat trickier on myself, so let's declare more wars. I want war with every nation I can see, pretty much. Uh, is that siege done? Do you have a fort here? No, oh, good. Oh, and he, but he has disappeared up north. All right, let's hunt him down. Let's gamble again, because I don't learn my goddamn lesson. <gasps> it happened! I averted a rebellion. Dude, screw the rest of the video. That, that, that's made my day. The worst thing that could happen here is if he unconditionally surrendered. <laughs> Please be Kalima. Mm, okay, it's Tonala. Nice. God, what a time to be alive in the Aztec Empire, eh? People are like, oh, yeah, we're securing the, <laughs> the troops in the west. The troops in the east just hear word from the west that they've just conquered the last holdouts with far fewer troops. Oh, I don't have a claim here. What? What's the Chichimecha? He's up here. 21,000 men versus 19,000. Ooh, 25,000 actually. All right, we are running out of manpower. This would be their chance. So my chance to get stack wiped here. Well, it would have been their chance. They do keep on just not getting stack wiped, which is actually really annoying. There we go. <sighs> Who's unconditional? Yucatan, that's a shame. Unfortunately, Aztecs don't really do surrender. Just, oh, you know, just not what we do. You know, you got your customs, we got ours. Our customs mean that we don't want to surrender. Your customs mean that you try and surrender to us and then and, and we don't let you because we kind of want all your land. Ah. And siege are draining our manpower though. That kind of sucks. Bear in mind, each of these guys have individual manpower pools. Okay, we can't make it a core, so I can't annex him. I'm just going to make him a vassal. Just convert him to Nahuatl, why not? There you go, mate. All right, now I can bring this lot in. Apparently not. They got they needed elsewhere. Did not anticipate fighting that many men. That's fine. That's exactly what we need. We just need bodies. 25,000. There's like 30,000 men still there. Oh, they got some of their land back. You know what? Let's just start suing for peace. <laughs> we're just going to fight each other. I love that strat. All right. We're just going to keep crawling up the coast. Well, down the coast. Why would I go for white peace, buddy? Well, you're right where I want you. Now, this is going to cause a lot of rebellions back home. <laughs> But I'm banking on the fact that there are mercenaries available to me now that there weren't before. We don't exactly use these kinds of walls, but sure. Commandant skilled too, we'll take that. Our wall exhaustion goes up by one, damn near one every month. Because of our refusal to accept their surrender. They're like, we will accept literally anything. We're like, well, we don't really feel like it, so maybe later. We're going to have so many rebellions. Dude, I really need these sieges to, 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 to finish. What should we in debt now? I feel like we're taking quite a few. Yeah, we're taking quite a few loans. Come on. There's you. See you. I don't, I don't know, because I'm pronouncing it as you, because it, like, it looks Chinese to me, but obviously it's not, because we're in Mexico. It's geography one-on-one. -on -one. I, I did a degree for this. Oh my god, lose to war position. That's two months we bought ourselves. 20 war position. Yep, we hit the max. Time for some not-so-fun times, boys. Because I'm going out over 100% um, extension as well. We have 146% overextension. That's that's fine. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's everyone stick together. Everyone stick together. Um, get rid of as much wars of exhaustion as possible. Okay. We're gonna have to fight every single army that that has existed in in Mesoamerica. This was a mistake. Okay. Where are those extra rebel uh, extra mercenary companies? <laughs> Why did I do this? <laughs> this is a horrible mistake. Okay. 40,000 troops. Oh, that's good. Let's get those. Oh my God. All right, let's see if we can stop them from taking any forts. It's the forts we need to protect. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm just a bit astounded by the, just the sheer number of rebels. Jesus, they're still rising up. I'm about to halve the population of Mexico real quick. My vassal's looking at this like, dude, you got problems. <laughs> okay, we're about probably about halfway through getting done with these rebels. Pretty sure we've lost every single. We only have, yeah, we only have mercenary companies left. The other guys were, uh, only had like, I've got, get, I've got to gamble. Only had about 400 troops left, and so they got stacked because like, they went in first. So I've lost about the equivalent of 20,000 uh, men and regiments, but oh god. The gamble didn't pay off, boys. It did not pay off. 
The mercenary companies are running out of manpower. Okay, I think I've secured the east. Okay, west deck. That's the first ones up here, aren't they? Okay, we've got to make sure we deal with them first. Okay, rebels are close to enforcing the demands. We can't let that happen. Okay, I think it's Huastec first and then Kalima. Let's go after Kalima. Now it's, yeah, it's just Kalima. Let's see, Kalima separatists are all over the joint around here. Very carefully negotiate around these troops. Not through them, not through them. That's the key part. That was almost a very rookie mistake you made there, Mr. Uh, Mr. Thousand Men. You almost killed yourself. Believe me, the state of this nation right now, I know it's a tempting prospect. But just stick it out a little bit longer and we'll get out of this okay. We've killed every rebel group in existence. Yeah, there goes another mastering company. That's fine. Okay. I think we're getting there, lads. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, so we had we fought a constant war against everyone. And now we fight a war against, well, internally, I suppose. I think we've won it. I'm like mildly surprised. Not the Portuguese are here. And also the French. And that appears to be that. Okay, we have a bunch of forts that uh, we don't need. So let's get rid of the... Okay, your jungle. Just going to quickly destroy a bunch of castles that we don't need. Okay, so I decided every castle was a castle we didn't need. It's costing us a lot of money and I can rebuild them later. Rooting out corruption is costing us a lot because of unbalanced research. Yeah, that makes sense. So now it's time for a more chilled segment. What I can do, pull out my chair and uh, allow you to come back down to earth. <sighs> I'm having way too much fun with this desk. Yeah, so legs have had a nice little stretch. The Norwegians are here as well. Oh, we can transfer trade power here now. Mexico is quite a valuable trade node. How much debt do I have? 2,000. These guys are basically carbon copies of each other. So let's delete one of them. <laughs> That's a 15 development province. Fair play. Yeah, I would go after you, but I physically can't. <laughs> I'm just going to click Reform Society because I'm not in a fit state to fight anything. It's weird that we still get the events to increase and decrease our Doom when the Doom mechanic basically doesn't exist for us anymore. Alright, I only have like five loans left now. Yeah, I'm loath to tech up just because I'm going to get a bunch of institutions anyway, so... However, teching to tech four could be... Well, it's tech five nowadays, isn't it? God. See how quickly I switched into my old, like, mentality? Of playing the game. Uh, just because I've played uh, this nation, like, I, the last time I played was a few years ago. Force number 53,000. Got about 15,000 troops that'll help me deal with the majority of these rebellions. And let's do some developing. Play a bit tall for a time being. I'm actually sick of this dude, like, it's just hopping around the place. I can get him pop ups for it. Ah, and then he leaves, so I can't kill him. Damn it, Guama, you've come back just as. Go, 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 go. Just had to do with rebels. Go, go, go. The club wall, the club wall, the club wall. Take a soul! Nice. Also, it seems a little bit weird that, like, it's our advancement is tied into, re like, performing our religion. Like, the Nahuatl faith, I wouldn't say, contributed at all to the uh, decline and, and subsequent conquest of Mexico. I, I don't think so. I, I could be wrong here. Um, I, I would say it was more to do with the diseases and more urbanization of. Like the different uh, varying levels of urbanization and how different nations urbanized, personally. Oh, cheers. Cheers, Rance. Appreciate that. It seems odd to me to sort of pin it on that. Oh, God. Oh, Portugal, 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 Portugal. Get your core. Get your core. Go on. Go on. Go on. Because these were big cities that they had. It'd be, I, I don't know. I think, I think referring, like I said, I think this should be replaced with something else like that. Like, pfft, embrace urbanization or like reform society or something like that versus the religion. Obviously, a faith mechanic in EU4 is... is a game mechanic. It's not trying to like uh, make any statements with it. It's just I think a lot of people get their like historical information from from games like this, which is great. I think that's that's sort of something that defines all of us as as avid enjoyers of EU4 um, and other similar games. So I think there is sort of a degree of, especially in these lesser known areas of accuracy, it's kind of needed. I only say that because people said they wanted me to have more takes on the game <laughs> versus just playing it, which I'm happy to do. It just occurs to me I haven't been colonizing at all. Right, and now we can reform our religion. So, under our enlightened leadership, we have reformed us and centralized our religion and society. So I suppose they'll say society. This will strengthen us. We will learn from our neighbors Portugal and take on some of their government reforms. So, because of that, we can go ahead and take text. I probably should have... Oh, I've already embraced it. Nice. And we've taken colonialism as well, probably before most of the world. Okay, 1099, and Portugal is 1010.9, so we're pretty advanced. 
Uh, obviously, we don't have any ideas, so we're going to go for exploration, probably expansion, and quantity, because we have a lot of gold, and our ideas are pretty good. So yeah, we get to keep our stuff, like our colonist. Um, but now you'll see our income might increase a little bit, because we're no longer a primitive, which means gold makes us 34. <laughs> and we are instantly a great power. We're the number fifth great power. Portugal's allied Ethiopia. And we are going to go for Nahuatl Prolistization, because we are going to be starting to convert these regions, because I feel like it. Grab quest for New World. And then we can start pumping out sailors and conquering. But I think that is where we'll leave it for today. Lads, if you want to see me do a sunset invasion, please make sure to like the video. Uh, it really does help push it, and also tells me that you're engaged and want to see more of it. Also make sure to subscribe, because I also look at that as a, as a metric for whether I should continue. If I were to continue, what I would do is instantly declare war on the Portuguese, because I feel like it. And uh, they're not actually allied to the Spanish. I think they are Spanish here. Yep, Spain. Okay, so, so Castile had a good game, it looks like. Or Aragon, we never know. Uh, yeah, so declare war on them, build up a navy, push into this region here and take control of the Caribbean, and from there just explode outwards, obviously taking a couple of these government reforms along the way. So if that's something you want to see, please do make sure to like and subscribe, like I said. And together we can find out if I can do the Sunset Invasion and if Europe has descended into anarchy. Have I actually done Aztec Invasion, Sunset Invasion? I'm not sure that I have. So yeah, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye. Huge shout out to our patrons, most notably Charlie Demorel, Krilly, Flyerton, JDow52, Cargon, Xiaomi, Lewis Wright, Nicole's Christ, QA Shard, Redguard, and Shadow Singer. Your support means a lot, guys. Whilst you're here, you might as well click on another video. I mean, it's, it's literally right there.